Yeah, I'd like to think that this is a multidimensional portrait of Volska, of Putin. Uh, it doesn't just present him as a fanatic, uh, nor does it just present him as a bumbling idiot. As a matter of fact, it doesn't present him as a bumbling idiot. Um, it's, it, there's a whole series of levels here, and I, I, I realized this the first time I did a reading. Uh, this was a few months ago at the Ukrainian Museum in New York. And I presented the novel as a satire, and I encouraged people to laugh, and then I read a number of selections, and one of them was funny, uh, kind of poking fun at Putin and his past, um, but the other two turned out to be uh, deathly serious. Um, and it occurred to me as I read that, you know, even though I was obviously intending to poke fun at him, uh, at the same time, I had constructed a character, I think willfully and wittingly, not, not unwittingly, uh, who was actually reflective of the real man. Um, and in, in that sense, I think you get a sense in the book of, of his need for power, his genuine commitment to the Soviet Union and Russia. Uh, some of that's a little parody, but essentially it's really, I think it does reflect the way he thinks. I think you get a sense of his vulnerabilities. Um, there are references here to his corruptibility. There are references in the book to weaknesses. Uh, so on the one hand, you have the image of the strong man, but the book suggests that on the other hand, there are also profound weaknesses and possibly even neuroses. Um, and then, of course, throughout, there are jibes and jabs being made at him, so that there are certain parodic elements that are introduced. I think that overall, I think overall, the image of Putin will be, is, 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 is actually quite accurate. I, I do think he's probably sort of like this. And of course, we don't really know, right? No one knows. Um, but I do think this is as accurate an image of Putin as you're likely to get. 